This video is one of the many tools in the Wavelength Tech Support Toolbox to help you quickly operate the TC Lab instrument. In this video, we will simulate controlling laser temperature for a spectroscopy application. Embedded with the laser is a thermoelectric with a maximum current of 3 amps and a 10K ohm thermistor. The TC Lab instrument comes ready to use. Plug in the power cable. Wire the included 15 plus 2 D sub plug to a thermoelectric and a temperature sensor, and then insert the plug into the TE out and sensor D sub port on the back panel. Note that different sensors are wired into different pins of the D sub. An additional thermistor can monitor the temperature of the load heatsink. Toggle the rear power switch to on. When the instrument is on, the front power button slowly pulses blue. Press this power button to enable the touch screen. The control screen is always shown at power on. Once the front panel is on, the actual temperature of the sensor is shown in green in the upper left corner of each screen. Blue text is editable, while green and white text are not. Next, the current and temperature limits need to be set. Set the current limits to values below the damage threshold of the thermoelectric. Set the temperature limits to limit the set point range and send an out of range shutdown signal to protect the load. When using a resistive heater, set one current limit to zero. We are using a 3 amp thermoelectric, so we'll set the current limits to plus or minus 2.5 amps. Pressing the blue text will turn it yellow. Turn the adjustment knob to set the value. When the values are accepted, the text turns blue again and the instrument beeps. There is a 2.5 second delay between the last knob turn and when the change is accepted. To navigate between screens, use the icons along the bottom and side. We want to keep the laser above 5 degrees C to prevent condensation and below 30 degrees C to avoid overheating, so we'll set the temperature limits to those values. A TTL signal can be sent from the LD shutdown BNC to trigger an interlock in a laser diode or QCL driver if the actual temperature exceeds the limits. On the sensor screen, select the sensor by pressing the sensor name and turning the knob to cycle through the sensor types. There are 14 pre-programmed sensor calibrations and custom sensors can be added using the remote command set. Once the sensor has been selected, in this case 10 k ohm 100 microamp, check the coefficients for the selected sensor by pressing the calibration icon. Note the sensor name does not force a particular bias current. The bias current is shown in the name to indicate which range the sensor is calibrated across. Next, we want to keep the laser at 15 degrees C, so we adjust the temperature set point on the control screen. The PID values in tune mode, which we'll discuss later, can also be adjusted on this screen. The units displayed and the tolerance are set on the settings screen. The target symbol shows on the front panel when the actual temperature is within the window defined by the set point plus or minus the tolerance. For this example, we'll use the minimum plus or minus 0.01 degrees C tolerance. To enable the output current, firmly press the enable button. The instrument drives current to the thermoelectric immediately and actual temperature moves towards the set point. You can watch the thermoelectric voltage and current, sensor voltage, and the temperature of an extra thermistor on the monitor screen. Let's discuss how IntelliTune optimizes the PID control parameters. IntelliTune characterizes the controller response to a load in a single scan. The PID coefficients automatically adjust once IntelliTune runs. They'll continue to adapt if set point, sensor bias current, or tuning mode changes. You may choose any mode other than manual tuning for the scan. Selecting manual tuning disables IntelliTune and fixes the PID coefficients at their current values. Turn off the output current and adjust the set point to 15 degrees C. This is at least 5 degrees C off ambient and at a sensor voltage where the bias current won't change. Press the note icon to start the tune. The process takes a minute or two and is complete when the red note turns green. To stop the IntelliTune scan, press the red note icon and the previous PID coefficients will be restored. Now the IntelliTune process is complete. You can choose to operate in set point response or disturbance rejection mode. 
set point response, has a faster time to first set point crossing, but will slightly overshoot. Disturbance rejection returns the load to temperature quickly after a transient event and is best for pulsing lasers or when operating in rapidly fluctuating ambient temperature. If anything in the load changes, the IntelliTune scan must be run again to properly characterize the new system. Since laser wavelength can vary with temperature, a temperature scan with the laser in constant current mode allows for measurement of this wavelength shift. Measure the laser output with a wavelength meter while sweeping the temperature. To set up a temperature scan, insert a USB flash drive in the front panel and press the temperature scan icon on the control screen. For example, we'll scan from 15 degrees C to 17 degrees C in 0.1 degree increments. We recommend using a time interval of stable, or zero, and a tight tolerance to achieve the most accurate data. When stable is the interval, a data point is taken when the actual temperature reaches the set point plus or minus tolerance. Trigger data acquisition with the wavelength meter using the tolerance bit, or pin 7, of the status enable D-sub, which changes once the sensor reaches set point plus or minus tolerance. To start the scan, press the run icon. Data is saved at each step to the flash drive. You can stop the scan at any time by pressing the stop icon. Once you know how you want to operate the TC lab, you can save all the values to a profile. These profiles are stored in the instrument memory, so they are not lost after power down. The front panel inputs can be locked to avoid accidental change to the settings. Password protection can be set remotely. On the status enable D-sub, the remote enable input, pins 1 and 2, accepts a TTL signal that will override the front panel enable button. The factory default polarity is active high, but can be changed through remote commands. The enable status, pins 5 and 6, is a TTL signal that goes high when the output current is enabled. At temperature status, pins 5 and 7, is a TTL signal that goes high when the actual temperature is within the window defined by set point plus or minus tolerance. Fan current drive, pins 8 and 9, will drive 0.5 amps up to 12 volts to power a fan for airflow across the thermoelectric and load. At any time, swipe the screen firmly from left to right to display the TC instrument serial number, calibration status, and the wavelength technical support contact information. There's more detailed information in the TC Lab Series user manual and the remote command set document. Our website also has tech notes, app notes, and FAQs. A free LabVIEW application is available for download. Our goal is to help you succeed. If you have any questions, contact our technical support engineers. Consider us an extension of your team.